Hi, this is Bishajit Maji, software engineer at Mindfair Solutions. In this video, I am going to show you how we can change data directory in MySQL in Ubuntu server. This video is really important for MySQL administrators and who are setting their path to MySQL administration. So let's try it. Here I know MySQL is installed and there is a configuration file called my.cnf. So we are first going to locate this my.cnf file. Here I am issuing the command locate my.cnf and we can see it is giving etc mysql my.cnf so in a second time I al already opened etc mysql to make this video shorter here we are going to open my.cnf file using vi editor here we can see data directory is mentioned as where lib mysql so we are going to change this data directory now we need some steps like first we need to stop mysql server to do that we need to do mysql stop and this stop mysql status is ok at the right side it is showing next we need to go to that file we already are here where slash leave so if we list here all the directory list we can see there is a mysql directory and the owner and group is mysql so suppose we are going to change this mysql data directory from mysql to mysql2 what we need is to do first i'm copying this file as this file has some sorry this folder this directory has some imp uh, basic files which needs which is needed to mysql so we are copying to mysql2 and now if we list again we can see mysql2 directory has been created but the difference is here the permission and the group so we are going to change the group and permission to change user and group we will issue should change owner mysql first mysql is for owner second mysql is a group and then the directory name so now if we again list it out we can see owner and group has been changed now we need <coughs> to change the permission to do that I will issue the command sudo chmod minus r seven 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 my sequel two oops there is a typo so now again if we list it out we can see we have already <coughs> sorry we have already changed permission user and user group so this is done now now we need to do two more things first one is in my dot cnf file we need to change the data directory to do that this I'm changing to my SQL to 
and saving this file now one more thing is left that is there is a mysql profile that we need to look at mysql profile will be here this is the path etc apermore.d user.sbin.mysqld let's see what it has here we can see there are various permissions given so here also we can see there are two permission related to our data directory where leave mysql so we need to do the changes here also then I'm going to again save and quit this file and we need to reload this profile to do that we need to issue a command like sudo etc any.d apparmer reload if we reload it we can see it has been reloaded and status is ok so now if we try to start our mysql server almost same command as stop so mysql server has been started now we are going to connect to this mysql server mysql host is localhost username is root so databases here we can see all the databases we can we can see the list of databases now we are going to delete abc database top second one to see uh, what's the effect to do this I'm issuing a command like drop database ABC and now we can see ABC is removed so what I'm going to do now just revert all the steps first stop here in configuration file data directory change coming into the profile file permissions of data directory are getting reverted save and quit reload then again start my sequel started S oops I'm sorry it's starting it's failed maybe due to due to some reason
okay it started and again I'm connecting here and if I issue so databases here you can see again that ABC database is there that is now I have reverted my uh, service data directory so my previous data directory had this ABC database that's why it is being shown so in this video we have successfully changed and again reverted to our data directory hope you all are enjoying thanks for watching